Okay, I am going totally off script here. We are gonna talk today about the future of AI. The number of questions I have received about, is AI going to take over my job? Is it worth learning how to code anymore? Lawyers, doctors, etc. AI is touching every or impacting every area of our lives or our careers potentially it feels like. And today we're gonna dive into the history of AI, what we can expect based on the history for the future, and is it going to take over your job? And honestly, I'm gonna tell you right out of the gate, two things. This is not a fear mongering video, so I'm not here to scare you or make you feel worried. But that being said, I'm also not here to comfort you on things that might not be true because AI has taken so many jobs and will continue to. On that note, hit my subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and let's get to it. That was so slow, too slow. Let's start this video with a little story time. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from our own, the rise of AI had begun to re revolutionize the workforce. At first, it was only the simplest and most repetitive jobs that were affected. Factory workers, assembly line operators, they were replaced by machines that could work longer, faster, and more efficient without the need for any breaks. But then, as AI continued to become more advanced, it began to take over more and more jobs. Doctors and lawyers found themselves competing with machines that could analyze data faster and more accurately than any human ever could. Journalists and writers were replaced by algorithms that could churn out articles and stories in seconds. The people of this world were understandably worried. What would happen to their jobs? What would happen to their livelihoods, their way of life? Some tried to fight back, protesting and boycotting companies that replaced human workers with machines, but it was a losing battle. The efficiency and cost effectiveness of AI was simply too much for any companies to resist. Sound familiar? You wanna know what even is more crazy about that story? It was written by AI by ChatGPT. I really wanted to share this story though at the beginning because it really paints a good picture of what is occurring right now. AI is taking over so many jobs in virtually every or most industries. A report according to McKinsey and Company says the use of AI and other automated technologies has led to the loss of more than 1.2 million manufacturing jobs in the US since 2000. In the financial services, a report by Deloitte states that the use of AI and other augmented technologies has led to a significant reduction in the number of workers that are needed to perform tasks such as data entry, customer service, and fraud detection. And we are continuing to see how quickly that AI is continuing to get smarter and faster. I mean, if you look at ChatGPT released in, released in November, and now with ChatGPT v4 being released, all on GPT, the interesting thing is how quickly it is able to become smarter. And this is just based on the data that we are giving it. So as humans, we are allowing it to become smarter and smarter. I'm sure we've all seen or heard the recent letter that came out this week from Elon Musk and many others really trying to state just that we need to take a step back from building AI and AI that is smarter than GPT-4. What does that look like? Maybe let's take a step back and have some rules and regulations around it before we really continue to forward ahead. Now, personally, I don't think that will happen. Companies are very motivated by money and there's a lot of money in AI. It's a gold rush right now. So for them to actually listen to this letter and take a step back is highly unlikely, but very curious to hear your thoughts about this. Point being though, it's just the beginning and the tip of the iceberg as to what is to come. Which leads us to the question, well, how does this affect our jobs, especially people who work in tech? I got a message recently from someone who wanted to get into web development and they said, Tiff, I'm really interested in web development, but I don't know if it's even worth learning anymore. And this is for obvious reasons. When you think about the way AI has already supported and is helping developers work so much quicker from code generation, bug detection, automated testing, and further. Right now you can literally highlight a piece of your code and it will spit out a test for you. You can highlight pieces of code and it will explain what the code is doing for you. Now, I'm not saying these tools are perfect, but the fact that they exist today means they will continue to get better in the near future. Tech is evolving so much quicker, so we cannot just look at where we came from, how long it took to get here, because that's not the amount of time it will take for it to move forward. So let's talk about it. Should you still learn to code? Should you still go get that law degree? Whatever it is that you are passionate about and studying, should, is it still worth it? Here are my thoughts. Regardless of where you are at in your career, you had to start from somewhere. Just like when you were a baby, if you said, well, everyone else knows how to walk, why am I even learning? It's just something that, you know, is going to come or there are machines that can carry me around. Well, I don't know if that's a good example, but you get the point. The point being, 
You need to start from somewhere. You need to build the foundations. And AI is becoming very smart and already knows a lot more of the foundations than someone who is just starting out. But that's okay, because at the end of the day, I think one of the safest places to be or industries to work in with the AI taking over a lot of jobs is actually in technology. And I think that because Although it will take over so many jobs in the tech industry, just like in every single industry, the one thing or one advantage you have working in tech is that you're very up to date with what's going on. You also have your learnings and previous experiences in tech. And from that, you can build on more skills. Say, for example, you are a web developer and in a few years, maybe AI is doing a good enough job to generate full websites I know it can do that now, but I'm saying full websites for enterprise companies. That's a very big difference. You know, if you are someone who's worked on an enterprise website, you know that AI is not there, that it could generate this entire website and connect the databases and et cetera. I'm, I'm not saying it's far off because it definitely is not far off. But point being, it's not going to happen overnight that all these changes occur. What is most important for you to do today is to continue to level up. What are the areas we speak about in so many of these videos that are continuing to be in demand? Cybersecurity, uh, cloud, data. These are all areas that there's so much opportunity to learn in. You know that story I told earlier? Well, it wasn't done. There was more to the story that I wanted to say for the end of this video. So let's finish it. How does AI see humanity and the jobs that we are going to be doing in the future? We left off the story that years went by and more jobs disappeared. But there was a glimmer of hope. Some people began to see the potential of AI not as a threat, but actually as an opportunity. They began to develop new technologies, new industries that could be built around AI. They created jobs that could only be done by humans working alongside machines to achieve things that neither could do alone. Slowly but surely, the world began to rebuild itself. Old jobs were gone, but new ones had taken their place. And in the end, the people of this world realized that the rise of AI had not been the end of their way of life, but merely the beginning of a new one. All right, I know that's extremely, extremely optimistic, but that's where I'm at. That's where I like to believe that we are headed and there's either two sides of the coin you can be on. Embracing it, understanding the risks and challenges that come with it, but also to being open to learning and exploring or completely shutting it out. Recognizing that it has taken a ton of jobs and it will continue to. But rather than living in fear, learn what you are passionate about, learn what you want to learn, whether it be go study law, become a doctor, learn web development, Yes, AI will take over portions of your job or maybe your full job in some cases, but the skills you have learned through that job and through those learning experiences will make you one step further ahead of everyone else and being able to contribute to society, get a different job that has some of those skill sets. Oh, that was, that was not as traumatic as I thought. I thought it was gonna be like, all right. Thank you everyone for watching. Hit that subscribe button and curious to know, what are your thoughts on AI taking over jobs? I'll be checking all my comments and I would love to have some really great discussions in the comments around us. Bye.